Hello and welcome back to Warsword Conquest and Slythe is here once again to fight against Sir Amalric. Yes, he only has 63, but he is going to give us some renown for this and he actually has a battle advantage. Can you believe it? Anyway, I did just find a potion seller in the nearby town and I'm very much hoping that we're going to be able to hope, uh, maybe utilize that. Maybe we can even take ownership of the castle nearby i'm i'm very much hoping that because we are being well shall we say i feel like i'm being quite cautious in my efforts to to capture things because i'm being a little bit more careful with actually trying to retain my forces it's very difficult actually to retain your forces as skaven in comparison to other races i would expect for example if you were to play with maybe orcs or maybe dwarves or chaos or any of the more <laughs> shall we say hardy units the tougher ones they're the ones that are really going to last for a long time they're going to be very very simple to keep alive most of the time at least and maybe even the beast men as well i feel like the beast men are actually really really fun and uh, generally, I, I was actually thinking of creating a, a Beastman series. You know that? I was actually thinking of, you know, doing like a, a at least a mini series. You know, nothing, nothing too, nothing too dramatic. But I, uh, I had a lot of fun recently with a Beastman concept, which was, uh, you know, Beastman summoner and basically just being able to summon some amazing, amazing units. And also, uh, I also took a look at some of the. Uh, debuffs and various other um, various other abilities and utility that the character had and it even has the ability to literally dismount enemies in an area around it and I can't even imagine how powerful that would be against Britannia for example it has the ability to to buff and augment your forces to give them increased attack speed just like we have seen with our um, with our Skaven friends here and literally, I mean, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure that quite a few of the magic schools have sort of similar similar properties. Like, for example, the Beastmen, obviously, they do have that thing that increases their movement speed and their attack speed. But I'm pretty sure that uh, Skaven have something similar to that. And I'm pretty sure that other things also have something similar. However, it just seemed so cool at the time, you know? It was just literally like, wow, this is so fun, you know? And also, obviously, being able to summon a Doom Bull is just amazing, you know? It's so, so fun to see that. Anyway, as I said before, we're just going to be continuing to level these up and get Scryer Gisales as much as we can. I want to try to get as many of those as possible. I only have 18. Yeah. That's pretty bad, isn't it? Yeah, I only have 18 of them. I'm not entirely sure what has been happening, but for some reason I only have 18. I, I would have preferred to literally have about 30 at this point, but um, I don't know, maybe I'm just playing really badly. That's probably what it is, isn't it? That's probably what it is. Anyway, we're just gonna put my forces all the way over here. I'm not really gonna be super strict when it comes to where my infantry go because I have a huge amount of archers here. I'm very much hoping that they're actually going to be able to kill enemies. They are... They're actually killing enemies. Okay, that's pretty nice. I like that. I am very much enjoying the fact that they are being somewhat useful now. Because this is such an open battlefield. Unfortunately, they're only killing human villagers. Not a big fan of them just killing human villagers, please. I would very much prefer it if they would... You know actually kill something somewhat uh, somewhat useful but I can only assume that maybe what's happening is um, I don't know maybe they have uh, ward save or something on the ones that are actually surviving that could possibly be the case and they do have a celestial prophetess as well I'm not entirely sure what what she's capable of doing to be honest I have no idea about any of the magic schools which is exactly the reason why this is such an amazing uh, mod because you just don't know anything about any of the any of the magic schools unless you are obviously you know knowing about it or you've played it before or whatever but from my perspective not knowing is half of the fun basically because then you get to you, you know you get to discover all this crazy stuff and uh, yeah mo see now this is exactly what I'm talking about 
You see what you see what's happening right here? My archers are just getting absolutely murdered. Oh, what what I, what, I, what 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 actually happened right here? Why did my why did my my two-handed sword literally got um, unequipped for some reason? I can only assume that happened because of the blizzard that um, that was cast. I I hope that was the case at least, or I'm just losing it or something. I, I don't actually know. But yeah, Oggy Boggy is absolutely murdering everything, by the way. He has been doing such an amazing job with healing us and giving us um, all kinds of shields. And he's basically just making everything super, super comfortable for my forces. I do need to actually put him as an archer still. I haven't actually done that yet. So I will do that after this battle. I keep reminding myself in the battle and then I forget about it right afterwards. So I'm going to keep talking about it just to make sure that I remember. I'm going to take this guy prisoner and we are just going to take all of these. I'm going to take all of them and I'll just take some of the prisoners as well. I'm not really wanting to take a huge amount of them and we'll just take these as well. There we are. All right. Okay. Obviously, bear in mind, we are still looking for Cyrus. We're still looking for Cyrus. Remember that. Okay. So he's obviously going to be an archer now. Okay. So here's the thing. The reason why I have Oggy Boggy at the second slot, the reason why that is, is because he is indeed a, a, a caster now. He is actually a magic user, and I'd like him to be as effective as possible in that role. And as a result, that means him being included in the battle immediately. I want him in the battle as fast as possible so that he can actually provide us with assistance with his spells. Because otherwise... We don't have any spells. That's the problem. We don't have any spells available to use if he is not in our party. And so I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of forced into it a little bit. You know, I'm kind of thinking to myself, yeah, we should probably, you know, just get him. Just get him in there because he's the only one that actually provides us with any benefits whatsoever in regards to spell casting. And that is also the reason why I was kind of thinking, you know what, maybe I should play a spell caster in a, in a series sometime. Not sure when, obviously. Not sure when, but I was very, very, um, shall we say, lured to playing a Beastman Shaman because they seem to have a relatively similar, um, shall we say, aesthetic to the Skaven, and they they're just really they just look really fun with their with their spells and their units are super super fun too. And obviously, being able to summon a Doom Bull every now and again, yeah. That, that just seems super fun. If you haven't seen that video, by the way, you may want to check it out because it, it, it is so... It, it, the start that we have is so hilarious as well. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> basically within 15 minutes, I have the Doom Bull spell. That's pretty much how it's going with that. Um, so yeah, you, you're able to basically cast that almost instantly. However, the main problem, <laughs> and this is obviously the main problem of, you know, for me uh, with Slythe as well, is that I am the one that gets killed. That's the main issue, you see. So for example, if I were to play as a Beastman Summoner, I would have to learn very, very hard how to literally just stay at the back of the bus, as it were, and not do anything. This guy has ward save. Look at look at how much... What? Did you see that? Ward save literally activated four times. Four times. Four times on this guy. I can't believe it. Ah, oh, four times. Wow, that is, that is absolutely incredible. I mean, literally, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about ward save, well, I don't even know what will, but... Yeah, anyway, that really... I need to get it. I so badly need to get it. Cyrus, where are you? Where are you, Cyrus? I really, really wish that he would come along and, and say hello. But there you go. We basically took no casualties this time because I actually utilized my ranged troops so much better than before. Let's actually get the uh, get these guys taken prisoner. Uh, I don't have any space anymore, so there you go. Oggy actually leveled up. Very nice. Come on now, sir. There we go. Let's get that. Okay, so he actually has a significant amount of, well, basically everything. So I guess I'm just going to get him some more Iron Flesh. That would probably be a relatively decent job. Actually, you know what? No, no, no. I have to get him Iron Flesh because I can't get him Weapon Master. He would need a lot more agility to get the next point in Weapon Master, unfortunately enough. And we're just going to continue going for these more Scryer Gunners. Thank you very much. There we go. Okay. 
So I was actually thinking of taking this. Oh, actually, this is under siege? By who? The Beastmen. Ah, okay, of course, of course. Okay, so they're probably going to end up taking that. Um, and as I said, I'm not entirely sure what the um, what the relationship between the Beastman and the Skaven actually are. I'm going to assume that they're on decent terms because we haven't actually been at war against them for quite some, well, for actually ever. So, you know, it should be a, a fine, fine situation to be in at least. And so we are probably not ever going to be able to capture any of these things from them because we are indeed mostly at peace with them. Anyway, let's have a look. Oh, we got some more healing potions. Yes, give me more healing potions. Okay, this is obviously fantastic. Uh, basically, any time that I can get my hands on healing potions is a good day. That's literally what's going on here. All right, so there we go. Um, yeah, I've got... Mm, barely have any good food right now. Okay, well, whatever the case, gonna buy some healing potions. Potions of knowledge, of course. And we're just gonna drink that straight away. Um, I tend to forget to drink them if I don't drink them straight away, so that's the reason why I'm drinking them immediately, because otherwise we're just going to forget, or I'm going to forget at least. And we got these guys right here, but I'm not going to go for that. How, how, I'm, at, I'm at 100%. Okay. I'm actually at 100%. Okay, well that's that's alright. That's alright, isn't it? Okay, so what we're going to do is we're actually going to try the Pale Sisters dungeon, and I'm going to switch it back to Classic Random. I feel like we're not really having a good shot with focus at the moment, so we're just going to go for this. And now we have to choose some people. So I'm I'm thinking, should I choose Ogre Licks or should I not? I don't think so somehow. Let's choose the Treekin. Let's choose the Dragon Prince of Kalador and the Dark Ogre Lead Belcher. By the way, yes, as you might expect, my Doom Bull friend was killed in my off-screen time. Uh, he actually wasn't killed, which is, uh, you know, kind of like the sad thing. He actually left the party because of, what was it now? I think it was morale problems? I think it was morale problems. I think he, yeah, I think he left the party for that reason. And, um, yeah, that was very sad. But I, 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 I can't do anything about it. If he leaves, then he leaves. I didn't want to reload because I feel like that's, um, well... I mean, you can reload if you want to, but for me personally, I'm probably not going to end up doing that, at least not at the moment, because it feels like it was my mistake, you know? It's my mistake that we had that low amount of renown as it is. Oh, oh renown. Morale as it is. Anyway, hello there, Mr. Orc. Oh, yes, Orcs are so annoying to fight, actually. They are. <laughs> they are so annoying. And they're annoying not because they are green, because, they, yeah, let's face it, it ain't easy being green. Is it? Yeah, anyway, the point is, um, they have such an insane amount of ignore pain that it's really difficult to actually kill them, and I'm getting absolutely murdered six ways from Sunday. What is actually happening here? Why am I dying so easily? Are they actually firing something at me right now? They are. This guy is literally- what is he actually shooting at me? Do you see that? It feels like he's- it's an orc shaman. I have no idea what he's actually throwing at me right now, but he is a thrown weapon, thrown weapon guy by the looks of things. Yeah, but uh, Orc Shaman are really, really strong as far as I'm aware as well. I mean, they're obviously not that strong in regards to, you know, actual combat. Oh, wow. Do you see that? My Dragon Prince of Kalador and my Dark Ogre Lead Belcher were literally killed that easily. I guess that just goes to show that... Um, yeah, <laughs> my Doom Bull was obviously so much better than these guys, but there you go. All right, I guess if they are going to just get themselves murdered, then that's just how it's going to have to be. I am very disappointed, actually. Oh, look at this guy with ward save. Look at him. F three point three times. Three times ward save. Ah, oh, Cyrus, where are you? I oh, yeah. Also, someone actually told me that I can find where the, um, where the, where the wizards are by using the camp menu. So I'm going to take a look at that after this because I obviously want to find him as soon as I can because that's really going to make a huge difference to our overall survivability. Like I said before, it literally is. And I'm going to just have a brief look around for the chest, but I am... Oh, no. Oh, you. Okay, this is not very good. Okay, this is not very good at all. Um, maybe I can just attack his legs. He's being very careful, as you can see. He's being super, super careful. By the way, trolls are really, really good at crushing through your block. So if they do do, like, overheads or anything like that, 
they're going to probably be able to crush through your block really, really fast, and that's going to do a massive amount of damage. I've, I've had that happen to me before, and let's just say that it was not pleasant. Okay, well, I'm going to just take a quick look. I know someone actually did say that chests can sometimes... Oh, there it is. All right. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is actually better than what I'm wearing. Okay, let's wear that. Nice. Crude Skaven Warlord Armor. Obviously, it's not exactly amazing, you know. And we got a Globadir Helmet as well. Really? Okay, that's pretty cool. And a Chaos Dwarf Carbine right here. And we got some armor too. Oh, this is going to sell for a lot. Okay, I like that. That is really nice in actual fact. All right. That was, uh, that was worth it. That was definitely worth it. Okay. It's not every day that I'm going to go into a, a level here and, and loot a chest and be like, oh yeah, that was definitely worth it, you know? But that was definitely worth it. Wonderful. Okay, uh, what do we have here? More orcs? Are you serious? Don't give me more orcs. And we've got more wards. Oh, is ward save? Really? Ward save? Look at them. Look at them. Ward save. No, don't give me more ward save. Thankfully, the trolls don't have ward save, I don't think. Uh, okay. Yeah, I really wish I had some kind of grenade right now or, you know, AoE spell or something. Because that would really make a huge difference. Thankfully, the tree kin are really difficult to kill. So that's the only thing that I can really take away from this. Because I kind of need the help here. And um, maybe maybe that's going to make a bit of a difference. Maybe it will. Okay, there we go. Kill all of them. Oh, wow. He actually killed all of them super easily, surprisingly enough. Okay, now I'm wondering whether I should tell tell this guy to just follow me from this point on. Might make sense. The orcs are so large as well. They're... What? Did you see that? I literally got stopped on the ground. There's like this weird little point here on the ground. Look at this. Look at that. You see that? It slowed me by a, a significant amount. So much so that I was so vulnerable that I got shot multiple times. That was great. Oh, well, never mind. We still have over half our HP. I'm trying not to, um, shall we say, get tilted. Because it could happen. It could happen. It is very, very likely that that can happen. Especially in a dungeon like this. And this is the next area. Okay, wow. That was actually pretty pretty quick. All right. Come on, Mr. Treekin. Let's do this. Okay. I'm actually getting some HP back every time I go in here for some reason. I'm not sure how that's happening, but there you go. All right, c kill that guy, Plague Priest. Yeah, he's not as... I find that quite funny, actually. The fanatics of the goblins are more dangerous than the Plague Priests. Oh, yeah, I'm be I'm, I've been infected by Venom. This is bad. The Eshen Assassin actually hit me. Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to have to do something a little bit difficult, uh, difficult here. There we go. I'm just going to have to use a Potion of Curing. And then I will have to heal myself. I just want to make sure that I do actually survive this. Because here's the thing. Obviously, if I am afflicted by Venom, I am going to literally not have any healing whatsoever from the healing potions. And it's just going to be a huge problem. Yeah, so as I was saying, Plague Priests are so much easier to kill than the Goblin Fanatics. I feel like that's so... Well, I guess that's quite in keeping, isn't it? But um, yeah, the fanatics have so much HP in comparison to the plague priests. I could kill them so fast, these guys. Whereas the fanatics are, oh yeah, they're dangerous. They feel so much more dangerous. Okay, I'm I'm looking for the chest. All right, I am actually looking for the chest this time around because I feel like it is quite useful. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, nice. Okay, we got some Slanesh Knight Boots, Lordly Orc Helmet, which could actually be given to Oggy Boggy, but I actually don't think this is going to be particularly useful. Yeah, we'll take all of this. Heavy Clan Armor, I don't even know what that's for. Obviously, um, armor in this has racial restrictions, so obviously if, um, well, obviously if it's human armor, then most people can wear it. However, if you're playing an orc or something like that, then obviously you can't. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're, we're fighting Chaos. Oh, this is new. We haven't really fought Chaos that much. So this is quite interesting. Oh. That's a big guy. That's a big... That's a big friend of ours, isn't it? Hello. Um. This is... He's dead. Okay, that's great. Okay, I'm just going to take a healing potion straight up. Who was who was this? Who was this guy? De a, a demon prince of corn. Okay. 
Well, thankfully he didn't bring the milk. It doesn't seem like he brought the milk. This guy is insane, by the way. Chosen of Nurgle seems to do so much damage. All right, that's great. Thanks so much. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, please, please, please. Please let this be the end. I don't know whether it is. There's the chest. Wonderful. Oh, wow. Did you see this? Look at this. What? No, that's 18,000. It's over 18,000. Yeah, or whatever, you know. <laughs> you get it. Oh, that's even better. 29,000. Yeah, there we go. All right, that's funding my uh, funding my ward save, isn't it? It's funding my ward save. All right, it's me and only me in the final. Uh, well, actually, I Ball, which I know that seems super super weird for me to say because obviously let's face it if you're playing Blood Bowl it's a turn-based game it's a sports game after all kind of but it's mostly to do with probabilities and odds and so on but when it comes to dealing with rat ogres it feels like you kind of either have to be super super defensive or you just have to go to town on them and that means obviously try to keep them down as much as possible so that they can't actually get back up. And there you go, we did it! Look at that! I actually managed to achieve victory and we got... This. Absorbs extra damage every hit taken. What is this thing? What is this thing? I have no idea what this is. Is this for Chaos? Is this for Chaos? If that's for Chaos, then I'm gonna give that to Erasmus, I suppose. I need to find Thrud, actually. Orc heavy bits, orc heavy bits, eh mate? Oh yeah, orc heavy bits, and also hardened grey or mail and play. Oh yeah, okay, well, there, that's enough of that. Anyway, the point is, there we go, that is exactly what we want. This is insanity. Look at this, 21,000. Obviously, this is, bear in mind, this is literally just the, um, the basic price right this is just the base value for these items it isn't actually going to sell for this much and we've also got this lordly death's head heavy armor who is this for i don't know i can't tell i can't tell who this is for is this for the is this for goblins or something like that i have no idea but yeah we're basically just going to be leaving now i mean this is 5000 i i don't really need the globe deer helm but i could give it to one of my other um, one of my other Skaven friends, I guess. So I'm gonna keep that and I'll just 
you know, swap out some bread or something. There you go. All right, we did it. 28 Renown. That was a level 10 dungeon as well, if you can believe it. And we did that with literally just the Treekin most of the time. And then the Treekin actually did end up dying, which I gotta say, I'm super, super annoyed about, to be honest. Because they do such good damage and uh, they just generally tend to stay alive for a, a long, long amount of time, which is obviously what you want. So there you go. Anyway, we're just going to move into the... No, no, we're going to move into the bandit, apparently. The bandit attack. Oggy Boggy, help me. Save me now, Mr. Oggy Boggy. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, that was a, that was really, really cool. There are some... Su there are such good highs and there are such devastating lows in this game, literally. Oh my, I mean, literally, come on now. Losing Brion, right? Losing Brion in, in the, you know, the uh, few various previous episodes. And then, you know, coming into so many level 10 dungeons and not managing to really do much because, well, let's face it, some of the time you just get unlucky. Assassin's Armor. I actually, I actually need to keep that, don't I? Okay, what is this? Who, who's this for? It's obviously not for me. What, what is this? Death's Head Armor. It looks like... Looks like human armor. Yeah, it looks like human armor, so I'm going to sell that. I, I don't think I'm going to have, have, be having any humans, thank you very much. But it does look like human armor, right? Doesn't it? I think it does. And the armor of Ascalon. What an incredible piece of armor. It makes me want to play a Chaos, you know? It makes me want to play Chaos. Look at that. 22,000? 22,000 22, just from loot. That's insanity. Oh, yeah. There you go. Wow. That is amazing. Okay. So, um, yeah, let me see here. What do I actually want to do? Well, I don't really want to buy anything right here, do I? No, I don't want to buy anything. I want to go into the tavern. Let's see if there's a uh, ransom broker or something like that. Highly unlikely. Can sell all the prisoners, though. That's not really going to get me much anyway. They were very low tier. All right. So... Uh, Mr. Ripnich, uh, I'm going to see if you could... Oh, yeah, he can definitely use the, the assassin armor because I obviously stole this from him beforehand. So it's probably going to be a good idea for me to give that back to him. And he can also use the Globadier helmet. This is much better for him than what he was using before. So this is great. Um, the Lordly Orc helmet I don't think is actually good for Oggy Boggy because I think he has something better. Yes, he does. As you can see, yeah. He has something better by two armor. I don't actually have any other Orcs. So it basically makes no sense for me to do that either way. Anyway, what I would actually like to do, and this is maybe something that, I, I don't know whether this is particularly worth it, but I'm going to go and attempt to fight some Wood Elves if I can. Are we still at war against them? Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's try and fight some Wood Elves if they have Treekin. If they have Treekin available, then I will fight them. And if they don't, then I, then I won't. But what we're going to do is we're going to very specifically target the treekin with my blunt weapon and i'm going to try to take them prisoner and then convert them to my side that's basically what i want to try to do because if we can oh there's actually a treekin available here for rescue that's hilarious let's actually go in there come on now okay yeah i'll just take that sure why not and um yeah let's do this oh okay i, I will help the i'll help this skaven underworld patrol but I <laughs> I, uh, I hope I'm the one that actually gets to rescue the prisoners. It might not be the case that I'm able to do that, but I hope I am the one that gets to do it. Maybe, maybe I am, maybe I'm not, I don't know. But yeah, we're basically just, get, we're going to be obviously able to do this. All right, let's have a look. Oh yeah, we do, we do, we do. Okay, that's absolutely fantastic. Look at that, that is perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. All right, so we got a treekin. Now let's see if we can get some more, shall we? I'm just gonna try and farm some treekin here. So I need to find a vassal with 27,000 treekin, please. Where are you? I mean, obviously not that many because it's going to be a bit difficult for me to defeat all of that, thank you very much. But it would be wonderful if we could that would be very, very nice. Uh, I'm, I, for some reason... Oh, we actually took this? Are you serious? Wow, we actually took something from the Wood Elves. Okay, that's quite funny. All right, let's have a look here. Does this guy have some Treekin? He has none? He has none? Are you serious? Oh, you absolute imbecile. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him. Anyway, we've got 339 troops in here. This is really weird, actually. It's really weird for them to actually have this. But they do. That's very funny. 
Um, I, I guess I should probably just check and see what's going on. Oh, there's a Chaos Merchant. Oh yeah, I should actually give the armor, shouldn't I? I should give the armor to someone. Let's actually have a look what these guys have available. It makes me want to play Chaos. It really does. Having this armor makes me want to play Chaos because literally, imagine how insanely, well, unkillable you might be if you get this. And look at the strength requirement of this thing. The strength requirement is only 11. Can you imagine? Can you imagine how incredible that would be with a Chaos Warrior? Really? Wow. Yeah, that, that's that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. I don't know. I, am, I, am I going overboard with how incredible that is? I don't know. It depends on how much it actually absorbs. But I'm going to assume because it is a legendary item that it is going to be somewhat significant. You know, it's not going to be a legendary item for nothing, right? At least I don't think so. Anyway, let's just see. Is it actually Chaos Armor? It is. Of course it is. There you go. So Mr. Erasmus is going to use this. And I actually kind of want to get him a really good weapon now. So shall we just shall we just try to... Uh, okay, I'm going to get him a ball and chain. Should I get him a ball and chain? That would be so funny, wouldn't it? I think that would be hilarious if he uses a ball and chain. And he just goes to town on enemies. And we're just going to literally just do that. There we go. All right, and we can obviously sell his crew champ, ch crew chas ch chassion. No, no, crude champion chaos armor. You know, we can sell that. And uh, yeah, okay. So wait a minute, I need to find some treekin. Where, where, where are some treekin, please? I'm not entirely sure where they're where they are where they're at right now. Okay, well, there's a huge amount of people here, rescued prisoners and so on and so forth, available potentially. What do we have going on here? They've got six Treekin in here. Ugh, oh, I don't really want to go into a siege if I can help it. I'd like to I'd like to fight a vassal. Maybe I should just fight that other guy and, you know, just take a bunch of them prisoner or something and just sell them or whatever, but I don't really have any prisoner management as it is. Ah, oh, this is this is really quite frustrating because I have no idea what's actually happening with these guys. Okay. Well, it's not under siege anymore, so I guess that's put paid to that, hasn't it? Ah, seems like the Wood Elves has, uh, well, have kind of uh, run away. Okay, this guy might actually have some. Okay, I'm just going to wait here. And we're going to see. I'm just going to do that. There we go. Okay, he, he might actually come out in just a second. So let's just wait here for some time. I'm going to see if I can maybe find someone that's actually worthy of our attention. Oh, well, that guy is, well, the, these these fellows are obviously worthy of our attention, but they're they're currently mobbing some, some poor fellow over there. So that's not really going to be that useful for me. But they're obviously going to attack. Ooh, hello. Can I attack you, sir? You have four, and there's 180 of you. I think that's a bit too much. Okay, we might be able to do something like this, maybe, yeah, something like here. There we go. All right, we might be able to attack this guy and actually do something. I'm not sure whether he has any Treekin, but you can see here from the Renown value, we might be lucky. We might actually get some pretty cool stuff going on. So what we're going to do is we're just going to place our infantry down here and our archers and gunners on the hilltop. Because obviously this is going to make it very difficult for enemies to even get, a, get, get to them. And, uh, oh, they can't actually come up here. Yeah, the wall of the battlefield is right here. So this is this is actually impossible for them. So I could place them here. No, they don't want to. No, they don't want to. Okay. That's a, that's a problem. That is indeed a problem. Okay, that is very, very bad. Okay, let's just put my, uh, let's put them there, put these archers here. Can we just move them back a little bit, please? Just a little bit? Okay, uh, that's not particularly good, is it? Okay, what about, hmm. Uh, yeah, that's not really going to make any difference. Okay, I'm just going to have to let them do what they're doing right now, and that's it. That's literally all I can really do. I'm just going to have to let them attack like this. This is going to be a huge problem actually for us because the enemy is going to get into our lines instantaneously and that's going to be super bad so I mean there's not much I could have done about that unfortunately so I mean what do you want me to do about it I don't know <laughs> I could have gone up to the top of the hill in front of me but they would have been on top of us in an instant from that aha hello Mr. Treekin can you join me oh no don't hit me for 32 damage please 
I will just try and murder him if I can. Get him. Get him. Yes. Oh, no. Come on now. Yes, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there we go. We knocked him unconscious. Perfect, perfect. Okay, there's another one here. Am I getting killed? Am I losing? I am losing. This is very bad, actually. Okay. Uh... Yeah, we're, we are losing, actually. Uh, I would like to retreat, but I can't. Yeah. Oh, oh I can retreat now. Okay, I can leave. Okay, wait. <laughs> oh, I was so hopeful. Oh, I was so hopeful right here. Really, really hopeful to get a tree kin. But as you can see, that's exactly what happens when the battlefield is just not good. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have just retreated immediately and then come back in. Because that would have given us a refresh. But, oh uh, well, I don't really use that strategy that often. I have used it many, many years ago. And I always just forget about it. Oh, well, never mind. Not that big a deal. I should be able to win against most of these. But it is just a case of me actually doing the thing that needs to be done. Okay, yeah. Uh, I am kind of trapped here, actually. Oh. A bunch of corrupted treekin want to fight me. But this is actually... This is so bad! Oh, there's 50 renowned value for this. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What can I say? What can I say apart from the fact that this is literally the worst thing that could possibly happen? There's going to be a huge... Yep, there is a massive amount of tree kin. I'm actually going to tell my uh, my infantry to just charge straight on in here. And um, I don't even know... Should I even bother taking the prisoner? I don't think that's particularly useful actually right now. No, I don't think so. Can I, can I take a healing potion right here? Okay, we have the ability to leave, potentially. Get out of there. Yeah, Whew. okay, we made it, we made it. See, now this is exactly what I'm talking about. The Corrupted Treekin, however, they actually would be really, really good for us to attack. However, I just do not have the army that is capable of dealing with them right now. But that was a close call. That's exactly what happens when you get a little bit too overconfident, isn't it? But we did do a level 10 dungeon in this episode, so I'm extremely pleased about that anyway. And we also gained some amazing armor for Mr. Erasmus. And hopefully we're going to be able to see him in action actually doing a relatively decent job with it. And uh, yeah, apart from that, that's going to be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.